Welcome in everyone, back to the Galphon Challenge. We changed up the overlay today, try to help out with some of those questions that y'all have been having on the regular. Are you saying well, um, filled in accept some challenges? Some people that um, you know wanted to play him first, I um, think that was the case with uh, our boy Runchucks wanted to play him first. Uh, they they spoke he spoke together with Amso Good. I have friends, personal friends that I know, uh, wanted to take him up on the challenge. But I think a lot of people wanted to play him first. You know that was that was the thing. He'd been away for a while, and I saw him as uh, as a spot, if you will, someone that's a bit rusty. Uh, so there are definitely people that were, you know, in talks with Galfon and just couldn't come to an agreement. You know what makes that so interesting and what makes this match right here even more fun to watch then is Chance is playing him after he's, you know, gone 2 0, taking on Vinny Vidi and Action Freak and besting them. And uh, he's probably holding his own at this stage of the match better than anyone else uh, up until now. You know, Phil. It has- does seem that way had that opportunity yeah. to, to warm up, to play, to knock the rust off. And a lot of people think that Chance would be a massive underdog. But, yeah, look at that graph, Henry. A small green stretch followed by a large red stretch. And then basically even for the last duration here of the challenge. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you're saying even. That's minus 100k still. Yeah, but that's... uh. Five buy-ins. I'll take those even. Oh boy. The you whole say, Jack A with the Jack Jacks against the not straight. Me oh my. So far, Phil Galfon up two buy-ins. Four bet pot on table two. Former poker for all. So what happened yesterday? Did they come back to play after that long break? They did indeed. Yesterday, we had very minimal four-bet pots, and now oh, we wow. have a, the first four-bet and the first five-bet pot of the day. I think we only had one yesterday that went towards Mr. Corneth, uh, as Phil had mid-card rundown, 10 8 7, 6 versus aces. And uh, we'll definitely see a call here or a fold predominantly from Phil as he does have the ability to take a flop in position and not stick the last 7,500 in. So I expect yeah. you to see just the flat here, Henry, or yeah, the fold for this continued pressure. Yeah, I agree. Don't have too many 4-bet folds. Um, I guess the ones that we can 4-bet fold are going to be ones that include an ace. Um, some of our, like, ace-king 10-9s. Hands like that are going to be obviously dominated by Chance's 5-bet get-in range. So, let's see. Phil is still up on the day. Uh, I would say Chance is in for 25000 over on Table 2 is my, my guessing point so that we can establish a baseline going forward. So... He's up around 6,000 over there, and obviously we'll see at the end of this pot where Phil stands. But he's still up thirty to 35,000 on the day. Nice little start to the session. It has been slow, nothing significant, only one real pot to speak of. And, uh, yeah, it, it's amazing how it can be so slow, Henry, and yet there's such a nice uptick from one of the players. And how about that for a board texture, eh? King Jack 10, 10, 9, 4 diamonds. Sadly, this is PLO and not No Limit Hold'em. So straight flush just became a lot harder uh, with that 9 being removed. Anyone has that uh, queen ball, though, we could we could see some bluffing happening from chance. <laughs> what, just the, the naked, naked queen? queen. <laughs> be, be real, chance is the one that would do it. 
Be honest with yourself. Stop it, Matt. You know no. it. Oh. No. Well, we'll find out. He is asking a question. Obviously, that straight flush, that royal flush, is not with Mr. Galphon. Would it actually surprise you to see uh, Chance here? Let's give him, like, Queen of Diamonds, Ten of Spades. Forget the other two cards. He does uh, have the baby straight, straight flush. flush. Oh, my No word. blocker to it, just the actual. And uh, what a sad reality. Do you see how long it took Phil to call there? With the nut oh. boat blocking the quads, only losing to three combos of a straight flush. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not surprised. That's a grim spot to be in when you have the board locked and your opponent jams into you. I mean, wow. GG's. So, uh, it's got to be one of the sickest coolers, if not the sickest cooler of this heads up match so far. That boat blocking quads against the back door straight flush. Well, Samuel Henry Kilbane was born another Northern Ireland in nineteen or sorry eighteen seventy five, and came to Cleveland in eighteen ninety seven. So I don't know who you're representing, Henry. Oh yeah, we got uh, got a shit ton of family in uh, in Cleveland. I, really? I would say there's there's more Kilbanes in Cleveland than there are in Ireland and the UK. Man. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of them. Yeah, if you just do a Google search on uh, Henry Kilbane, there's a whole slew of them out there. Poker Player Podcast, Stitcher.com, Podcast.Apple, Poker Fuse, Run Shucks. So uh, his story is out there, for those of you unfamiliar with the sweet and sultry European voice that graces us from time to time. Mm -mm. Yeah, I wonder how many podcasts he did, though. Who's that? Doesn't other, matter. other Henry Kilbane. The one that you mentioned. So Phil, check. Oh, sorry, three bet turn. Oh, sorry, did three bet turn. He raised raised turn seventy two hundred. Chance playing is check. This straight completing river card. We're certainly going to have some combo draws on the turn. Some King 10 nines with spades. Definitely going to tank here, thinking it through. And let's not overshadow the fact, once again, that we have another very significant pot developing on table two, as Phil does shove the river here. It says, run it, boys. Chance in a very tough spot with hands like King Jack with a straight blocker. Wow. No, wow. That just difficult. calls it off with the three pair. So. Potential for a 70k pot, Nate, on table two. Yeah. Uh, so, so we saw a 53k pot there going Chance's way. Um with a hero call on the river that didn't take him all that long to call. And then Phil going ahead and trying to get in on the other table, but no, takes this one down, makes a small portion of his money back. How's the, uh, the bankroll challenge going? Oh wait, he's doing a uh, zero to $1,000 bankroll challenge, I believe. That's, that's pretty tough. I couldn't do that. Fuck that, man. I mean, I couldn't even complete my own bankroll challenge. Some of you already know about that, but... I should do... Grind a... free rolls to then Ugh. try and get up to 1k. Oof. That's tough. That is tough. Hey, he's at 28 cents. Is he at 28 cents? Let's go. Let's go. What's the uh, what's the smallest cash buy-in tournament? Ooh, let me. I'll it's check. It's gonna be like us. one dollar, right? Are you are you allowed to grind sit and goes? I feel like that. 
Okay, okay, let's see. We have uh, several free ones. No, you have a 10 cent, two 25 cent tournament. So you have three sub $1 tournaments. And then okay. you have a plethora of $1 uh, tournaments, $3 tournaments, $5 tournaments. So once you can, you can build up to enough to take some stabs at it. I mean, Grinder, if you can get a dollar in your account, you can play the Super Satellite into a $10 main event satellite, <laughs> which, hold up. and then that one, that $10 one, gets you into a $215 one, and that one should get you into the main event. That would be the sickest story ever. That would be just phenomenal doing a zero to 1k bankroll challenge get into the main and then cash the main oh oh that's that'd be ridiculous <laughs> i don't buy no say is phil also go with a button limping strategy uh, not that we've seen so far from from phil as far as i'm aware chance in here with a check raise on river obviously representing um some boats or maybe just representing the nut flush. How do you like them apples, Henry? Yeah, I mean, nut flush, no pair blocker, no house blocker. Still managing to get paid. Massive pot uh, heading his way there. Well, with that has been round about a 30k pot with the nut flush uh, for some thin value there on river. <clears throat> so, if I remember correctly, fills in for roughly 35,000 on that table, which means he's down 7k. And we do have a large pot that's developed here over on um, table one. We'll have to see how that one plays out before we're able to give off any confidence of who is up or down on this challenge. Six four, ace four completing, hearts breaking, six seven nine breaking as well. Seed some hero calls today, man. And we do see another hero call here as unable to defeat Mr. Galfon as he shows up with a wheel, picks up a nice little twenty seven K pot. And that will put him up uh, on the day. Can't tell you how much. We don't know anymore. But we do know unequivocally beyond a shadow of a doubt he is up uh, on the day. What are you saying? He's up a buy-in? 20k? 10k? I'd say, yeah, you're, you're within that neighborhood. 10 to 20,000. Kikazi coming on in strong, right on cue, asking how much is... Or, well, how's it going today? How much people up? What are we looking like? Uh, we just saw a nice size pot going Mr. Galfon's way, and we believe him to be up about ten to 20,000 on the day. Uh, he had momentum early on in this match, and it's been lacking as of late, wherein Chance Corinth has made a nice comeback. Um, but we're looking to see on the back half of today's challenge where that momentum will take them and who will retain the lead overall. Uh, and, and right as I say that, Henry, chances come in with a very minuscule check raise over on table two. I love these little clicks, man. <laughs> oh. oh, and not only does he click it, he hits Phil with a dot, dot, dot to boot. I think that's the first time we've seen some trash talking going in live in the hand. And now he dot, dot, dots it again. And uh, on that second trash talk, we're going to see Phil concede the pot. They're, they're going back and forth. Welcome on back, everyone, to the Galfon Challenge. That's right. I'm your host today, Mr. Nathan Gamble, two-time brace the wear surf bum for life, joined by our fellow resident high-stakes professional multi-table tournament leader, Henry Kilbane. How is everyone doing out there? How are you doing, Henry? I have no idea what that introduction was, but I'll take it. I don't I think you just 
called me about 15 things that I'm certainly not. But I appreciate the vote in confidence. Hey, we all need a little confidence here in 2020. Uh, you know. And, and you know. Uh, let me just jump straight into the chat. Pappy shaking his head at me. I think you enjoyed it, Pappy. Kyberry saying, why can't we have a card cam where they feed us their cards? We put it on delay. Uh, you know, these two are playing for kind of significant stakes. Not only do they have whatever they win or lose uh, in the challenge, they also have a quarter million on this line for, for Mr. Corneth and a, a smooth Millie ball for Phil Galifon. So as much as they may like us, as much as they may respect us, if they're not willing to share their cards, uh, I, I can accept that. I can understand. And I know it doesn't make for the best viewing experience. But if someone offered me $100,000 to give one of those guys the other person's cards, I would, of course, say no, but I can't comment on any of my other commentators. So what I can commentate on is Phil shipping it all in on the river here, trying to steal not his whole cards from Chance, but all of his stack. What do you think about them apples, Henry? Yeah, Chance in it with the well, two-thirds, 60%. On the river, coming back over the top for the full lottie. See how Charles proceeds deep in the tank. No snap call, obviously, good news. The Galfon fans out there. <clears throat> yeah, this is going to be an extremely difficult one for him to call. He does make wow. the call with just naked aces. No blockers wow. to a straight, no blockers to a flush. And Phil does earn himself a stack with the nines full of sevens. I'll tell you what else I support. Potential for a 60k pot to just uh, finish things off. Finish him. Finish him. Man, if Chance five balls this. This is the time Phil. when he's most likely to. Phil has four bet folded on two occasions today. Oh god. 150 bigs effective. Five bets going on in there, Henry. As I said, this is the time that's most likely for chance to get the money in, it seems. Wow. Uh, at days in. Phil flat calls. Oh boy. That's a flop texture I believe the rest of the money can get in on. Oh boy. What do you think, Henry? You think it's going in? You think we're seeing the 55er on the day? Oh, you, just, you just hate it when you've got naked aces with the ace of spades. I, I love how he like, takes it down. He's really considering it. And, and it's like, you know the money's going in, Chance. On his side, the money's always going in, right? And what? Phil calling... Oh, oh my no! no! No way. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to see some blood, here it is. It does not get bloodier than that. The gutter ball on the river for Phil. Ow. I can't believe what I just saw. That is the sickest. Oh. Of, I uh, mean, we, we already had no. <sighs> that was sicker. I think that's the sickest spot that we've witnessed so far in the entire match. Maybe? That was a pretty grim one. Chance five balling the ace, king, king, jack. Absolutely fine. Phil flopping a gut shot, backdoor hearts. And just drilling it against Chance Corner's top set. If this goes pot, cool. And Chance loses like a 25k, 30k pot. Game set match? Maybe. Let's just call it what it is, 26,994 pot. Well, let's just call it what it is, because it did go pot, and it did go call, and it did wow. go Phil Galfon's way. Everything you just said came to fruition, Henry. Except for the snap sit out. Rough old day in the office for Chance Corneth. There it is. There it is. The dot, dot, dots. Uh, An extra 14k going Phil's way right at the end there. And uh, 
I think that's a big winning day for Phil Galfon. That's a that's a six buying day right there, mate. Uh, easily. And and Pappy did ask, are we up a hundred k yet? I think the answer is unequivocally yes, we are. So. Oh yeah. Beyond that's a shadow. Hundred k light switch. Of a doubt. Well, let's put light the light switch on this challenge right here for today, Henry. We're going to work behind the scenes to get you flown out to Vegas. Appreciate everyone being here. Appreciate y'all putting up with our shenanigans. And uh, hopefully we'll be commentating together live before too much longer. So thank you everyone for tuning in for this massive, massive day for Phil Galfon. And we'll be back tomorrow to bring you a Friday closeout on the week. For myself and Mr. Henry Kilbane. Cheers, everyone. Peace.